word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devon and I'm here with Emma. Hello. And I'm here with CJ. Hello. And I'm here with Maxi. And I'm here with Alexander. In spirit. Hello and hello. <laughs> Maxie rocked up to his um, workplace. His studio. His studio. <laughs> and then and it was raining, by the way, just to set a scenery. And then... The scenery. <laughs> and then um, he like was like, wait, what? And didn't realise it was closed and undergoing renovations. So that was about five minutes before it started. He's like, sorry, guys. I'm like, go home, dry off, get warm. We'll see you next week. Yes. And Alexander's still away, and he should be back next week. He I think should I said be that last week. Too. Yeah, he should be back. We're not hundred percent sure. He's having sure. internet issues, so next he's, um, week should be he's fine. He's on this highly secretive mission, <laughs> where, like, right now we're actually telling you too much. Yeah, too much. We are too much. So he will be back from yep. the mission. Inverted. The mission. In in quote air quotes. Inverted commas. You know, I was gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's wrong, right? Is, is that no. the is that okay. the mission where he's driving the Mars rover? <laughs> we we've said too much. We've said too much. Oh no! But yes, I'm winking at CJ. Too many people know about this stuff that are important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. First article. Lottery. The lottery. I love the lottery. You love it. I think. I wish I win the lottery. Then I will love the lottery. I think it's the greatest investment that you can make. I do not. <laughs> what I mean the greatest investment you can make? All right, all right. Look, listen. Even if on your lifetime you spend half a million dollars on the lotto, right, and you win once, yeah, and you win once, like is let's the, say, and, and and you win once because it's a like, right. It's a right if you win once. Yeah, but if you win nuns. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to win million bucks. I don't want to win nuns. 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 Oh, nuns. Not nuns. Oh, yeah. I don't want to win nuns. <laughs> what did you say, Siege? Nuns. 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 Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, like yeah. nun, but then ants at the end. Yeah. N- nuns. So, like yeah. N O N E with ants at the end. Ants. An Australian a woe man um, got a woe lottery ticket. Man. For her birthday from her husband. Yeah. Um, and won almost $3 million. It was like $2.9 million or something like yeah. that. Um, Did she divorce him? No. And people were like, you know, oh, what are you going to spend it on? And she said, oh, some people might think, you know, I'd buy a new house. But for now, I just want a new kitchen, right? Yeah. So, like, it got me thinking. And she wanted to take her family on holiday somewhere. Um, it got me thinking and I had a look about what, you know, what has happened sometimes. Like what's, what's something crazy that has happened to people that have won the lottery. So I'll take you through a couple stories. Okay. So one, Abraham Lee Shakespeare. What a name. Say it again. Abraham Lee Shakespeare. Abraham Lee Shakespeare. Wow. How would you, like if you were entering a room. It's like Abraham Lincoln with Shakespeare at the end. Yeah. Yeah. But how how good would your intro be, Siege? If your if that was your name. Welcome to the stage, man. Abraham Lee Shakespeare. Or you could say Le Shakespeare. Le Shakespeare. <laughs> so he's been he's French. <laughs> he's French. He's French. Now. Um yes. He's French and English at the same time. <laughs> so Abraham Lee Shakespeare lost his money to Dee Dee. So Who's Dee Dee? Who's Dee Dee? Well, so he won the lottery mm. in America, and he was just a he won thirty million, and he was just a casual okay. laborer, forty years old, um, and he won this in two thousand and six. He was paid seventeen million soon after, but then he came across the lady called Doris. Didi Moore, Didi, Doris Moore. They no, called no, her Didi. No, 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 no. Uh, the double D is like a breast size because if they are, I understand how he lost his money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she promised him that she'd help him with his finances because he was um, illiterate, um, and 
by 2009, so three years later, he was nowhere to be found. The, who? Shakespeare? Yes. Shakespeare was nowhere to be found. Wait, he was, Ill, he was illiterate? Mm-hmm. That so is, she came what is, is, that, is that ironic? Why? <laughs> Shakespeare. Shakespeare. I know. It's ironic. It's ironic because you expect someone with a surname of Shakespeare yeah. to like have <laughs> like some words that no one's heard of. Yeah. Like I can't he's, believe he like picked that up. But he, that, <laughs> that is so ironic. He should be in an uh, Alana Morissette song. <laughs> That's how ironic it, should, uh, ironic it is. Wait, okay. Anyway, Isn't so. It ironic? Do you think? Do you think? Um, a little too ironic. I shouldn't be laughing so hard. So, he couldn't be found. And yes, I really do think. <laughs> his friends and people close to him like kept receiving text messages from him. Um, Asking for money. But then investigations began to find his whereabouts. And it was later discovered that he was dead and buried in her back garden. Oh, my gosh. Um. And she'd been used. Did he die because she smothered him with her bosoms? This is real, Sage. And then Dee Dee, so she she killed him. I was just saying, we, if I was going to die, yeah, I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be smothered with bosoms. And <laughs> buried him in her back garden. Can we use, can we use her real name instead of Dee Dee? Because Dee Dee is like Doris. Doris. You're, you're like when you hear Dee Dee, it's like oh, Dee Dee's coming over. But you okay. use her name, Doris. Yeah. Um. Good. Was now living in his house and That's sending a messed messages. Up name. Sending messages to his friends yeah. and family, so to try and I guess make them think he's still alive, okay. and then she was eventually okay, the convicted. F- the first bit of suspicion will be this: his friends and family are getting messages, right? Isn't he a little illiterate, so he can't text? As in, like he can probably text. He just can't he, spell, maybe. Well, he. It's just like like imagine you get six seventeen million. You're supposed to have like good lawyers and all that, uh, financial advisors and lawyers and whatever, right? Yeah. If he's if he's illiterate and he doesn't have money for all that, she's probably like, I can help you with, you know, sort out all that stuff. How many people would you tell? How many people would you tell if you won the lotto? So we'll get to that. Oh, okay. No one. Um, yeah, so she was sentenced to life without possibility of parole. And by this time, though, all the money has, had gone. Hmm. Yeah. So another story. <laughs> Sorry. I just thought that was crazy. Yeah. That was like, over a lottery ticket. So this one. Jose Antonio Cuatoc. Ben, I thought you were going to say Banderas. Banderas. Suatoc. Banderas. Maybe Suatoc. Banderas. Mm. Banderas. Jose Suatoc, let's say. He won the lottery, mm. but he gave the ticket Got to deported. his boss to cash it in for him. Oh, why? Because he was an illegal immigrant. Yeah, so? So he thought if he cashed it in himself and he's an illegal immigrant, because they need all his details. Yeah, then it'll be just. They'll give him green card, 100%, because they want to keep the money in. Well, he didn't... Well, so he was like, oh, my God, they'll find out. Oh, yeah. And maybe he had other family, I don't know, that were also. Um, so he was an illegal immigrant in the US. He was scared that if he cashed in. So he gave the ticket to his boss, Eric Cervantes. Cervantes. Eric claimed the money for himself and his family. But what then the on top of that, told on... The department. Jose and f- said that, um, so he ensured that the, that Jose, who's 27 years old. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Was locked. for. So he, he got him locked up for a falsified terrorist charge. Oh, my gosh. On top of that. Um, luckily, Man, he really didn't like Jose's, Jose. luckily, Jose's lawyer was able to reclaim his freedom and his money, but... His so, boss had already spent a massive chunk of it. Oh my! So um, his he had won seven hundred and fifty grand, but there was only three hundred grand remaining. Oh, that's still all right. Yeah, but can you believe it? But the boss should have to pay him back. The boss should have I to pay that back. It doesn't even say what happened to oh the man. boss. I mean, when I say that's all right, like it's effed up, but at least he got something. He got something, and he got his freedom back. But no. imagine. He should have had his freedom and the money in the first place. Yeah, a hundred percent. That's what like we're the saying. The boss is a scumbag. But, af- but after the mm. fact, if you're like, if we've travelled into the future, right, and like they say, like you get your freedom and you get three hundred thousand, you're pretty happy. You're pretty happy. Yeah, but after at the same being time, up. Being, but at the same time, you're a bit angry as well. Mate, they should charge his boss with false imprisonment. 
lying and make his boss pay the money back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Like if I was in charge of a country, mm. <laughs> the boss is in big shit. Because he, he, him and his family are going <laughs> to have to pay all that money back that he spent. <laughs> You're being president again. And, <laughs> yep. What's and called this, what are we going to call this land? Ho- whatever time Jose did, he will have to do. Because we keep coming back into this narrative. So I want to know this land. Yes, yeah, I want to know this country. President a lot of times. Yeah, what what's is the, the name of your country? What's the name of your country? Fairness. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I was, I was not. I was expecting something with boobies in it and something that was a bit, <laughs> ra- <laughs> a bit rash. Something, you know, something outrageous. Ooh. But he's called, he said fairness. He's, this is, CJ always has me on the edge of my seat. He's always. T- I'm always. It'll, it'll, it'll be fair. Like uh, if a boss is sexually harassing a worker, his punishment will be he gets sexually harassed. We'll put him in a situation where he's <laughs> so he learns from <laughs> what he's done by having it done to him. Baba, a massive guy called Baba. Yeah, Baba's gonna be pitching your bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Baba's no. six foot five. Yeah, 180 kilos of muscle. Yes. <laughs> 180 kilos. Um, the Forbes list, mm. uh, Forbes have done a list of, um, or did in the past, a list 10 things to do when you win the lottery. 10 things. To do. Before you say that, what would you do? Um... I would, like, are we starting from scratch or? You win the lotto. What's the first thing you do? Woohoo! Divorce you. <laughs> I'll do that, like, standard. I'm, I'm um, instant millionaire You know the, the jump that they do in the lottery adverts? Yeah. Woo! I'd yeah. do that. <laughs> and then I would quit work. Straight away? You wouldn't wait for the money to go in your account? <laughs> I wait for the money to go into my account. You'd have to, right? Because you might have read the the like <laughs> read the, it wrong, read it wrong, and it wasn't like a, like a hundred million. It was like a hundred bucks, yeah, a hundred like dollars or something. So, oh, could you imagine how embarrassing that would be? Oh, you think man. you won the big one? You're celebrating because I, I I might do something a little bit crazy if I think the, I won the big one, right? <laughs> yeah, I will. You know, and then then you find out like there's like eighty five winners. And you've only like, like 10,000 or something. Can I tell you a, a story about a lot of scratchy? We'll go back to the thing. But yeah. I, there was this, I had a scratchy, right? And it was the one where you um, you you scratch? scratch the top part to see the uh, the numbers. So it was like um, snakes and ladders, right? So you scratch it okay. and it reveals the dice. So it's six, five, four. Anyways, I started scratching it. And um, it said, like, the first roll was six. So I went, I scratched six. And then there was an arrow. It said, go up this way. And I started scratching it that way. And I went all the way. And then the last roll of the dice was a two. I scratched it and it revealed $50,000. <gasps> right? And I went, the first person I rang, because I think I was 18. First person I rang I, I was my mum. And I said, Ma, I just won, I just won $50,000. And she goes, what do, you, what do you mean? Where are you? And I said, I'm in, I'm in Parramatta. I go, I'm going to come meet you now. And she goes, oh, okay, okay. I'll come. Th-. Anyways. What? So I hung up. Right? How do I not know this story? I, I hung up and then I looked at it and there's on the scratchy, it tells you where to start. I didn't start scratching where it said start. I just started scratching at a random spot for some unknown reason, right? What the <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you start at the start? I don't know. Because the way that I got it, it was funny because the way I got it, I thought you started at the top left, right? But actually the start is at the bottom left, yeah. which is kind of weird because like I was holding the scratchy up and you think, oh, I'll start at the top left and Not I'll work my... snakes and ladders. Or if whatever. it's snakes and ladders, it's, it's always bottom but... left. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Snakes and yes, ladders. Yes, it is. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Oh, always bottom left. <laughs> Damn it. Anyways, so I started That's top like universal left. Universal knowledge. Yeah, right. Top left is but where you, you win. You know what? I don't even know if okay. the board game was snakes and ladders. Okay. I don't know if it was snakes and ladders. I just use that so as an example. And, uh, Why yeah. would you start on top of the ladder? Actually, actually, it wasn't snake and ladders. It wasn't. Oh. 
Okay. It was just a board game. What That's what I'm trying it? to get at. It was just a board game. <laughs> Anyways, the way where it started was bottom left and I started top left and the way that <laughs> I ended up winning nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so did your mum come and meet no, you? No, because then like, no, no, because I, I looked at it and again uh, again, and I went, oh, there's a start. There's your, a start her thing. heart must have been racing. Well, I rang her up straight after and I said, you know what, ma? I Don't worry. <laughs> what did win. she say? She goes, oh, okay. And she went back to work. No. Yeah, she was really like, no. But, but then she, I think she rang me up and she goes, so did you win or not? I think she rang up and she goes, "Did you win? How did you, how do you not know if you won or not?" <laughs> and then I got, you know how they've got the barcode hey, anyway. You got the barcode, and I got it scanned just to double check that the way that I scratched it was the right way. And she goes, "Not a winner today." And she she rips it up, and I went, "Nah, no worries." And then as you're leaving, she ripped it up in half. She was sticky taping it back together. <laughs> she got me again. Peter Levac is a criminal defense barrister um, and self described playboy. Oh, he, was this one the news here? Possibly. Yeah, I think so. So it made me laugh, whatever it is. <laughs> so he. Um, He's being targeted by Transport for New South Wales <laughs> over his red Joe plate. Yeah. So his red Joe plate is, I'll just spell it. Okay. L G O P N R. L O L G O P N R. L G O P N R. I know what it is. I've, I've seen the um, on news. N R. Yeah. Long. Can you guess what it is? L G yep. O P N R. N-R. N-R. Write it down. L-G. Lopper. L-G. O-P-N-R. All right. All right, don't get angry at me. <laughs> While you're figuring that out. Hang on a sec. L-G. O-P-N-R. N-R. So, um, Transport for New South Wales, Australia, um, said that this number plate is or could be considered offensive and must be returned. And if he does not return it, they will cancel his registration. Lego Pina. Just, <laughs> just now, curiosity. Yeah. Didn't they give him the number plate? Well, I don't. That's a good point because when he. So like if it was something offensive and they gave it to him, that's their own fault. Because you can practice or like, you know, put in the system what you like. And I don't think it, yeah. like, if it's something bad, wouldn't it, like, just no, doesn't allow you? No, I don't think so. I thought yeah, it should. It sh- I know it should, but I don't think so. So, like, if it, you, you reckon you can't, if Ass you, Man, you, ass, you, you reckon you could like, Ass Man? You can't put, like, Nazi 1 on your number plate. Yeah. I don't get it. What's this one? Because Keep trying. If you, le- leg opener. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay? <laughs> You can't, you, you can't put like a N-A-Z-1 on your number plate because yeah. people will get offended. Exactly. So he argued that 99 out of 100 people had no idea what this plate even means. Well, yeah. And yes, it's leg opener. Yeah. Tongue in cheek reference to his reputation. Oh. How um, about, how about That he earned from a young age. Do you remember that um, uh, um, show of Seinfeld, that episode? I don't remember. And um, he, he got uh, Simon, uh, Kramer got given the license plate Ass Man, I don't and he put it on his car, and <laughs> everyone started screaming Ass Man, Ass Man. <laughs> well, he said when people usually find out the reactions, usually laughter, right? It's funny. Um, so yeah. he was given eighteen days to hand in his plates or have his registration cancelled. Um, he took it to court. Um, he describes it as free speech. Um, and he was a former Hong Kong Crown prosecutor and he vowed to fight the bullies. Mm. So Did he win? He went to court. Um, he had a, a whole team a whole legal team of heavy hitters, he said, and it was it was the case was thrown out and by the magistrate. So case was thrown out, but the reason the case was thrown out was because it was written under the wrong legislation. So you know, like they're so like oh, you can technical. get a big criminal case yeah, thrown yeah, out yeah, if yeah. something technical, right? So it was written under the wrong legislation, and um, <laughs> uh, so it got thrown out, right? Yeah. 
then, and because that particular legislation was written under, like, no longer exist. So it's tossed out. And then he, they were waiting to see if anything would happen. And sure enough, Transport New South Wales have come back again and sent a new letter under the right registration and taking him to court again. And he was just like getting his heavy hitters back together again. And he's like, let's go. No, there's nothing I like more than a good old fight. Oh, so he's got money. Because he's a this lawyer. He's got money. I think so. And he's just like, legal argument, very simple. The plates are not offensive, basically. And he's like, I have prominent witnesses lined up, including a female judge who has been in the Lambo. He's got this a Lamborghini and knows what they mean. And she's not offended yeah, at but all. That, she's that's, greatly that's not a amused. great argument. That's not a great argument. But if he puts it on, if, if they, if they're saying it's offensive yeah, and but then he if brings it's just in a one judge, person, but no, if he's it's got just, a lineup of people. But I'm saying it's like, oh, just because someone doesn't see well, is it offensive doesn't make it not offensive. Yeah. Okay, Anyways. But, well, what I want to say, say is this. Why is it offensive because of one person finding it offensive? So, yeah, he Maybe didn't even know who it was who one. originally complained. They yeah. were, like they won't say. And he's just like, it's probably just an anonymous keyboard warrior. But I wouldn't um, I wouldn't even know. Like, he, you told me it and I'm looking at him going... Which is what his argument was. Because I, I was thinking that, Lego at first. I thought then, Lego. Yeah. I thought, let's go, peeps. Pina. <laughs> like, I don't know what it was. Uh, it's not that obvious. No. I mean, yeah, if isn't. he put if he put legs on his license plate, like <laughs> fake legs, then it would have been like it would have given some open, sort of hint. Then yeah, you understand. Yeah, yeah. If they were in the air or something, but I like <laughs> yeah. I like the fact, right? You the way that you describe this guy. He goes, "I got my posse together." Yeah. I mean, I'd love like I love my group of friends. Let me start off by saying I love my group of friends. Aww. But I would love it if I could go. <laughs> Your siege. Get your barrister hat on. Let's go. <laughs> Get your shit on. You got to defend me in court. Oh my goodness! <laughs> How good would that be? Your, your posse can't do that, man. <laughs> no, I, that's what I'm saying. My posse can't do that. Your posse, your, your posse get, might be able to change your witness's mind, <laughs> but not go to court. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say your posse would be able to like help you out if you needed a new roof or. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, mm-hmm. some electrical. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got posse for that. He's saying court, court reasons. We can go talk to the witness and go, excuse me, please don't go there. <laughs> excuse me. Court. It's excuse not worth me. It. I'm saying politely. He's please. a lovely, lovely young man. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, do you guys think of that? Oh, sorry. I, I thought it was quite then. interesting, but someone else didn't. <laughs> sorry about that. So, yeah, okay. I'm on the same page as you. Mm. Um. I mean, it could be offensive, but I'm not really offended. Because he can, he can like, he can change it, the L to a P and just like a page opener. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone knows what it really means. <laughs> and what pages page you want to open? <laughs> you wouldn't say page, you'd say peg opener. <laughs> peg opener? Yeah. <laughs> if it was PG. I mean, that's a whole different genre of in the, in the sex world. What? <laughs> I wasn't even talking that world. It's uh, Someone's a bit kinky. I don't even know what that means. means. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Okay, well, let's not do P then. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, P if you need to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> P if you need we to. We don't want you to damage your bladder. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Beautiful. So I wonder if he'll win the second round. Oh, 100%. Bing, this guy bing, looks bing, like bing. a fighter. Okay, so you know like household cleanups? Household cleanups where you Big just pardon? call your council and yes. put some stuff out the front and yep. they pick it up. Um, so there was mm-hmm. one, I think, it's in Ashfield, but I think it's in the UK. Oh. Um, I think. Anyway, they um Is there an Ashfield in the UK? Yeah, there would be. The the household <laughs> no, no. it's that's not how it works, CJ. We copied names from England <laughs> to Australia. That's how it yeah, worked. But Ashfield. <laughs> that's how it worked. Even we King, not, even where like we how live. How would you get the name Ashfield? I, I I always assumed like they just walked into this area and it's very ashy. It was like, oh, we call it Ashfield. <laughs> <laughs> Even the suburb we live in is the English one, but most of them, a lot of them are either English or um, Aboriginal. Mm. Um, so this, these people came and uh, 
household cleanup people, men, things, or women. Mm. And the item that they saw really surprised them. Yeah. Usually what you put out, maybe old dining chairs or... Cupboards. Yeah, an old cupboard or bookcase, old toys, stuff like that. What do you put out, CJ? You're going to put out mower? A mower out? Old. No, I'll keep the mower just in case the other one breaks, one breaks yeah, over yeah. the spear. Oh. Yeah. Well, this they came across. And remember, by the way, <laughs> okay. you said, Yeah. Who just has this item lying around in their home? Yeah. It was a coffin. They put a coffin out on the council pickup. Yeah. What did you, they had it lying around. They said, oh, I'm never going to use this. Exactly. They were like, This is the weirdest. Household item okay. we've collected. W- w- was it like an old, go- was it kind of a, a goffy person? Because I've heard they can make coffins into beds. What? What? Oh. You reckon it was a bed? Some goth, some goth people can will create, like, make get a coffin and turn it into a bed. Okay. And then he upgraded his mattress or coffin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, upgraded the coffin. Possibly. Actually, it's there not that a- weird now that CJ said that it could be a bed. There is a, a yeah. picture of the coffin. It looks like an kind of a... Okay, so you know on like some old school suitcases and the way you close it is with those latch things. Yeah. The metal ch- hook latch yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. It's got those, two of those, one on each end. You sh- and it looks you really... sure it's not a bed? It looks old. Maybe it's And a the bed. top of it has a handle on it, almost like a saxophone case, but a coffin case. Huh. I'm intrigued to see if it is a bed. <laughs> I want to know if it's a bed. Yeah, because maybe they've upgraded to a new mahogany. <laughs> 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 that was just a standard one. I went for the deluxe. <laughs> Isn't it funny? A bit of extra padding. <laughs> Would I you like to sleep in, this new in a coffin? One. No. Yeah, there's people that sleep in a coffin. Would you sleep in a coffin though? No, no. I'm not nuts. No. I feel like it could be comfortable. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because uh, it's like nice and like cushioned and I closed. don't, I don't like, um, you know how some beds have like, um, like a attachment to the end of the bed where it's got like a, um, um, a and closet or something at the end no, oh, or something like a, yeah. like a, you know what I mean? Something at the end of the thing. I don't like that because I feel enclosed. I don't like having stuff blocking my feet from reaching uh, the are end. Are you claustrophobic? I think so. I think the older I get, I think I'm getting claustrophobic. I don't. I like my. I. I, I like the thought. You picked a weird job of my feet to go up past the end of the bed. I, I quite like Me having too. to I like look my feet at the at, end. I like my feet at the end of the bed too. Yeah, like hanging off the end of the bed. See. No, I quite like having like a barrier there, or like. Why. A, a bed frame at the end. You know, yeah. the end of the thing. I don't know. Actually, if if on my coffin. I want a holes at the a bottom. Footless. Yeah. <laughs> so I can put my feet at the end of the coffin. Dude, my, Babe, I'm just going to be thinking of that when you're lying in your coffin. Like, he's hating this right now. Hey, h- hold on here. Who said he, he's going first? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking hell, mate. Usually, who else is going first? <laughs> wait, who dies first usually? Uh, I forgot. The men. The man usually dies the man. first. Yeah. yeah. The man yeah, dies first. Man. Hmm. I was just saying hold on here, mate. <laughs> poor poor bugger, you're killing him off now. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, Siege. I'll see you later. Thanks, bro. <laughs> see you, mate. And, and by the way, if I'm still alive, you, you're getting a closed feet coffin. I'm not smelling those feet. I've seen your feet, mate. <laughs> when, when, when you've been alive, I don't want to see them when you're, when you're dead. Deb, you put an article in and I almost didn't even want to do it because I was like, Ugh. yeah. but <sighs> it's about popping pimples. Yeah. So I guess the article was about why people like watching people pop. videos of people <laughs> popping pimples. Wait, CJ's laughing. Do or you whether lo- they like doing it themselves or whatever. CJ, do you love that? Watching that stuff? I'm not going to lie. I have watched it. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me your experience. It is it is crazy in the sense where you're just seeing shit come out. <laughs> you're like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't that person. <laughs> yeah. 
Have you watched them as well? I've no. I've, I've only watched, watched like the beginning and then I stopped the video because it's just yuck. Oh. Why did you stop? Because I, like you said, but your reaction was like when the stuff comes out, I go, Whoa! like I feel like sick. But yours is like, oh, <laughs> yours is more intrigued. I can't even put the. I would never even be able okay. to put it on even at the start. Like I can't do it. Yeah. So this article, I just could not believe how much stuff was in there. Yeah, it's a cyst. It was Sometimes like a cyst coming oh. out, and they're just coming out. Yeah, and coming out, and then there's like a bag. And it, they had to try to get that out. And he's got like these clippers and he's trying to pull this bag out. And then he squeezed again and more shit came. It was, it was like disgusting. And I was kind of like intrigued. Yeah. At how much came out. But the way that you're talking, I can hear the intrigue. I can hear it. It's like, like, I, like it came up on YouTube and I was like, I'm like, oh, fuck, I have a look at this shit. Like, you know, <laughs> how bad could it be? And I was like, whoa. And I was like, can't believe how much crap is in there. <laughs> and I was like, it was like a round lump and they put like this little circle thing and it kind of like cuts a hole. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They, and they pre- and all this gunk came out yeah. and I was like, holy crap. Yeah. And then they had like, that much shit was in there. It's like a little loose skin afterwards. Yeah. And I was what? like, that was yeah, it's full on. So gross. It's full on. Yeah. It's full on. Yeah, so continue with the article. I don't know if I can. <laughs> Emma's face is horrified. But I, it, 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 there's a cult following. Is it like a real like hardcore following? So apparently. Um, um, so they were wondering <laughs> why people like watching this kind of stuff. Yeah. And um, Dr. Michael Alding, who's a dermatologist and chief of plastic surgery at the George Washington University School of Medicine and Health Sciences, um, he was basically saying that it's an urge to purge. The urge to purge. The urge to purge. May be closely tied to the human disgust reflex. So there's a human disgust what? reflex. Yeah. He says there's a group of people who are pickers and scratchers. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> Emma's about to throw up. Um, this is funny <laughs> and that could be like popping a, a a spot or a zit or a pimple whatever you call it um scratching a scab fixating on like filthy surfaces or something and they they see it they see yeah. even if it's on their own skin or someone else's and they can't bear it they're like they need to like, get rid I of need it to, yeah yeah so it's under like the underlying disgust what makes them want to get rid of it? And it's a trait. And they reckon that trait carries over from our ancestors. Wow. Right? Yeah. And it was all about the odds of survival. Mm. So being able to pick out like rotting fruit or something bad that oh. you shouldn't. It was a, it was a, it was a um, survival instinct. It was a survival instinct. Wow. Squeamishness is useful is a and, and squeamishness is a useful evolutionary a- adaptation because it keeps us from eating or touching things that could make us sick. But uh, my type of squeamishness is I can't look at it. Like I can't even. Right. And then I guess other people just like I can't not look at it. I don't because- know. I don't know. I think I've got to watch it like and Ooh. stop and not like watch a whole video, I think. Uh, okay. See, because of my feet, I've 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 look at videos of like what 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 when I go when I go wait 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 when I go for start a video when I go for surgery I'm not gonna let you brass past this. So you said you watch videos on feet. No no no. Oh okay. I'm saying you know how like plantar fasciitis on my feet. Oh okay yeah yeah yeah. So I watch videos on like stretching feet stretching to get rid of it. Yeah. I've also watched surgery videos. Oh. I've watched. I can watch surgery where they, videos. No. Where they open up your feet and they fix it up. Yeah, I like I either can remove do that. it or cut it or things like that. Oh, I can't. So I, you, I, you even can't when do I did that. my opera- even when I did my operation, I watched videos of people getting it done. Yeah, I'm right. like you with in that one. Get a visual. Respect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I need to know what I need to do. 
So like when my feet go sore, I look at videos of stretching oh, techniques. That makes what sense. should I yeah, do? Yeah, that makes sense. Like of like there's a, like a doctor of one that I watch when these guys go through stretches, ways to make it feel better. Like and I try different techniques to tr- see if what works and what doesn't. So so you watch um, pimple popping because you are no no pimple popping came up yeah because. I was watching the the feet stretching <laughs> yeah. for plantar fasciitis yeah. and how to remove a bone spur. Yeah, and that came up, and I and it looked very disgusting. Yeah. And to be honest, we were like, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> so I pressed it. <laughs> <laughs> that you know what kills me about Emma. And, and then and then I was in amazement, like, holy crap, that's a lot of shit inside of that. <laughs> Emma can can't watch the pimple popping stuff, but she can watch liposuction. She can watch people oh, take I I take I... the shit out of the the fat out of the. Um, That's the... different. Oh, Are I, you serious? I, I don't think I could watch that. Are you serious? Uh, actual, actually, the no, thing. no, no. I can watch surgeries and all sorts, but there are a couple of things I'm like, ooh, and that the liposuction. I don't particularly like that because it's very aggressive. <clears throat> yeah. And also, yeah. I don't like stuff with surgeries on eyes. Uh, that kind of freaks me out yeah. too. Um, and there's also a weird thing about like the nose ones because they're quite rough with that too but everything else rough. opening up yeah, and the, i don't mind the more i see surgery right like even like taking wisdom i don't want to see we, wisdom teeth is like there's a joke at uh like uh, with my group of friends right that like that you gotta watch like you want to be awake when they take your wisdom teeth out because if you're asleep you might see a, a like a size 10 footprint on your on your chest because the do- the dentist needs to get some leverage <laughs> the- to take the teeth out. But if you're awake, they go, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Put that foot on me, mate. You see Dr. Martin in <laughs> size <so> tense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, so humans are attracted to a whole range of experiences that do promote unpleasant emotional or physical reactions mm. and this includes stuff like even like um horror films or roller coasters or yeah, like yeah. sad songs stuff like that and it's a form of benign masochism is this um masochism i don't know what's the mas- ma- masochists masochist so it's a form of benign masochism is mm. like this pimple popping mm. uh like intrigue like Disgust, but I've got a watch type thing. But um, yeah, I just thought that was a little bit interesting mm. that it was linked to the uh, ancestry and stuff like that. But That's still, I, I cannot watch. That. But yeah, you got to get used to pimple uh, popping pimples because one day, like when the tech- technology all like burns down and stuff, you're going to have to see what fruit. You're going to have to pick all the stuff out of the fruit so you can eat it. All the poison out of the fruit. So you might as well get used to that um, skill set. So when it happens, you'll be ready when the Armageddon happens. But I've got some weird stuff because I can't watch. I can't watch people brush their teeth or listen to it. What? And that's even through the TV. Yeah. Like, yeah I, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what, what, what happens when the kids are brushing their teeth? I, she leaves the room. If, so if I'm brushing it for them, oh, it's, wait. <laughs> oh. She's just imagining. It makes it. me cringe really badly, even just thinking about it. Because because there's stuff I am not good with. What? I am not good. I am not good of poo. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't think. I don't think anyone's good with poo. <laughs> I don't. Think- Un- unless it's mine, I ain't good of it. Yeah. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. So what about your dog's ones? I clean it up. I'm more like. <laughs> I've been around too much poo with my kids to even be phased, but okay. I do gag sometimes. Me, me, really me and bad. Emma hate vomit. Vomit is something like if I see someone vomit, I'm like I'm already my it's already halfway up my throat. My vomit. <laughs> well, like if I me- see them, I'm like oh. For me, it's the smell. Like as soon as the smell hits, that's when it's just like I, that, I my gag reflexes just takes over. And yeah, I'm like, get out of the way, get out of the way, because I'm contributing to that <laughs> vomit. Get out of the way, I'm vomiting. Move, up, move, move, move over. Here comes mine. Yep, it is. 
Sorry, I'm just still thinking so about what did you do? What did you, what did you do when Emma had morning sickness? I said, take care of your business. I'll be here after. Because <laughs> there's no point both of us vomiting. No, but one time I um, projectile vomited and your whole family was there because I was sick. And then so who cleaned it up? I, I think did. it was your mum. I did. <laughs> I think your mum did one, another one because I did have I cleaned, twice. like I was, I was, <laughs> Emma was vomiting and she's sick. So she's pregnant and I'm like, all right, go, go. And I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't just sick. I had a gallbladder attack and that made me vomit. And it was like projectile. Oh, man. Like, I mean. Like the exorcist? Yes. Yes. Like, yes. 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 Oh. like the exorcist. Yes. Exactly like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, my goodness. But other things that I also can't watch is uh, people biting metal. Like the spoon or the fork. Oh. The spoon or the oh, fork. Oh, when they clangs accidentally on the teeth. Oh, or like if they, like some people actually like, they take it out with the teeth. Oh, like, I can't. Oh, I can't watch, I can't watch I can't. that. I can't watch that. How are you with the dentist? Because oh, I don't like bad. things in my mouth. Bad, 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 bad. What, what, what? I don't, I don't like things in my mouth. No. I, I get like gag. Same, same. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. I was like, my ears were crying. So what are you saying? Uh, 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 so, so, Ernie, do you like things in your mouth? <laughs> no, no, but it's just the way you, you said it. <laughs> the way you're laughing for. <laughs> it doesn't need to be said. <laughs> I yeah, know. Go. I actually threw up on my dentist. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How often do you go to the dentist now? You go to a different one. Every six months. Yeah. I actually got a reminder to go back to the dentist. Yeah, I got to go to the dentist soon. Because she... she she could, cause she messages me to send me a reminder. Mm. Mm. I think, um, I think one thing that I really, really do enjoy. I think I've faded from it, but it's um, the chiropractors. Born? Chiropractors. Oh, I can't watch that. I love. Oh, the cracking. The cracking. I, I actually, do, I like, I like watching the cracking. Yeah, I really enjoy it. It's uh, it's soothing. Deb tries to make yeah. me watch those. I don't know why it's soothing. I'd never do it, but it's soothing. Oh, and no, you brought you know me in here to some show me some the other night. Really great, yeah. relaxing music. Some of them have this really relaxing music. Yeah. And then you hear crack, 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 and I'm like half asleep and like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. M- most likely, do you know why we enjoy the cracking? Why? We probably have a, little, a lot of body pain. <laughs> yeah. It's just the and in our heads, it's probably saying, worst. I wish that was me being correct. No. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I'd and want I the hate release it when you go to a massage and they try and pull your fingers out yeah. and tell you, oh, no, no. And no Stay no, away. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> <laughs> now, ha- have you seen the crack when they wrap the towel around your neck and he pulls the towel? Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah. And then I would love to get that. You know done. what they say all the time, right? Because they there's another thing called the Y strap. Instead of the towel, they use this Y strap, and they really they they lift, and they go. I felt that all the way down my spine. That's what they say, because it's like it's like have you, it's I don't know about that one. Okay, have you seen the bow bow high tower one? What the guy with the hammer, the hammer guy? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yep, and he yeah, does all yeah, the athletes has, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yep. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. No. Absolutely not. Mm. Oh, I just can't. No. Oh. And plus, seeing people scream in pain, I find it very relaxing. <gasps> <laughs> Mas- what do you call it? A masochist? Yeah. A masochist. Mm. Anyways. Yeah, anyway, thank you for that article. Yeah. On And on that <laughs> cracking <one>. note. <laughs> Let's... Let's stop spewing about this topic. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's crack on with a goodbye. Oh, is that it already? I think so. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, CJ. I appreciate you, CJ. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate both of you. Thank <laughs> you. I accept your appreciation. And we appreciate you, <laughs> listeners and viewers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's, we'll be uh, back next week with a full uh, house. Uh, full house. I only appreciate I I only appreciate the listeners, not the viewers. <laughs> 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 and on that bombshell. Ciao. Goodbye. Peace. Arrivederci.